Team, keep it clean. Do y'all realize what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is the start of training camp for everybody. Like, the rookies have already been there. Engine players have reported back, but tomorrow, all the veterans are back in the building. I mean, some have already come through, but all of them are back in the building tomorrow. Well, they at least supposed to be. So, we've officially made it through the offseason. The offseason is done. I mean, it's already felt like it's been done for a while because it has been so much going on, especially over these past couple of days. But the offseason is over, y'all. We did it. So I appreciate y'all, team. Keep it clean for making this offseason literally fly by. Fly by. It started off with craziness. We had all this uncertainty about the Baltimore Ravens and the quarterback situation with Lamar Jackson and the contract and whatnot. But it seems like that was ages ago. Y'all made this fly by. So I love y'all for that. I appreciate you. But being a team like the Baltimore Ravens, and I think this really goes for just winning teams in general. But being a team like the Baltimore Ravens, they couldn't enter uh, or get through this offseason and get to training camp without a little drama. Just a little bit. Um, I thought most of the drama this offseason, after the whole Lamar Jackson thing, uh, I thought most of it may come from Patrick Queen. But that was an open and shut case quick. He moved on, moved past it, and that was that. Had a little drama with Chuck Clark, but they traded him. That was that. He said a couple things about the Ravens. wasn't so happy. Um, but other than that, it hadn't really been anything. But then J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins uh, doesn't seem like he's been so happy with the Baltimore Ravens, with his contract situation. Um, and there's a lot that's unknown to us. Um, but with J.K. Dobbins, and you know what? I think this is just... Part of being a winning team. I know the Ravens haven't won in the playoffs much recently. They haven't been to the Super Bowl in ages. But they have been on the side of winning a lot more than they have been losing. Especially when Lamar Jackson is playing. But anyway. Um, cause you look at the Chiefs. They got the whole thing going on with Chris Jones and the whole lot. You look at the Bills. They got the whole thing going on with... Um, what was his name? Uh, Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen and that, that whole mess. You look at the Bengals. Uh, they... Joe Mixon, they, they had a whole little thing with him. A lot of people think he might get cut, but he had to take a big, fat pay cut. And, I mean, speaking of running backs taking pay cuts, yeah, they've been taking pay cuts a lot. The running back market is in a rough, rough state right now. Uh, and J.K. Dobbins certainly um, doesn't like where it's at. I mean, you know how some people, they will put on their Twitter accounts, they'll be like, oh, retweets are not an endorsement. Oh, yeah, J.K. don't put that. He didn't put that. Because if, if his retweets are certainly an endorsement because he was retweeting a lot of people when they were talking about just the state of the running back market and how bad it is right now. Uh, J.K. Dobbins is obviously somebody who um, he has been public, too. He's been public with the, 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 his frustration with the contract and all, with any contract talks that he's had with the Ravens. He's frustrated with his current situation. Um, and there were a group of running backs that they hopped on a Zoom call. They had a little meeting. They said, hey, look, man, we, we ain't liking this. We, we, we got to talk about this. And some of the running backs that were on that call were Giants running back Saquon Barkley. And, you know, he had the he, – they placed him on a franchise tag. They couldn't come to an agreement with him. He's upset. Uh, Austin Eckler, who with the Chargers, he wanted a raise. He wanted to get paid. And I think they reworked his contract. I think they did, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember because so much stuff happened ever since he wanted his raise. Um, Joe Mixon, who we just talked about, he took a pay cut for not only this year, but next year too. Uh, Josh Jacobs, who was placed on the franchise tag. Tony Pollard from the Cowboys. Derrick Henry. Uh, Najee Harris from the Steelers. Christian McCaffrey uh, from the 49ers. I almost said Panthers, but 49ers. Uh, Nick Chubb from the Browns, Jonathan Taylor, Aaron Jones, and J.K. Dobbins. Uh, but J.K. being on that call, on that Zoom call, was no surprise, man. It ain't no surprise because, like, look, we, we know J.K. ain't happy. He's in the last year of his contract. Um, and what do you want to do in the last year of your contract? What do you want to do when it's time to get paid? You want to get paid. You want your money. You want your bread. But see, with J.K. Dobbins, he's in a very, very tough situation. A tough situation because while I get um, J.K. Dobbins wants his money. I'm sure he wants a fat raise. He wants a nice paycheck. Uh, but with him, I know he's missed like a, a lot, a lot of time um, over the past couple of years. He missed a significant amount of time. Uh, but then on the flip side, when he plays, he can bowl. 
that boy JK can play. He he can play his tail off, man. Especially when he's fully healthy. Like I forget, like just how, well, I have forgot. I don't forget anymore because I got reminded the other day. But I was looking at J.K. Dobbins from 2020, and he was, I was like, whoa, hold up now. Because I think when I was on YouTube, just scrolling a, a, a random video of, um, I think it was Ravens versus Cowboys in 2020. I think that's what it was. But some game with J.K. Dobbins, and he was doing his thing. And he was going off, and, and you could see just what the Ravens saw and why they took him uh, in the second round. But um, the thing about not only J.K. Dobbins, but... Just a lot of running backs in general, but specifically with J.K. Dobbins, the market is tough. It's really tough. And these guys just, they in a bad spot. The market is it's not showing them any favor right now. So what are they going to do? Uh, what was that Zoom call about? Hey, we have no clue. Like, uh, what, like the running backs, I feel like the running backs right now, like really just, they don't have much power. They don't have much leverage. Uh, they don't have much say so. And th like they they could all hold out. They could all hold out. Say for instance, every last one of these running backs decided to hold out. They could do that, and it would impact their teams. It certainly would, um, but it would also impact their pockets because they already um, don't get paid much money. Well, when you compare it to a lot of other positions. Um, but they will get fined and whatnot. But with running backs, teams are looking, especially nowadays, more than ever. Teams are one. A lot of teams are looking at running back by committee. Uh, a lot of teams don't even really have that guy at running back. Like something like the Browns, they got Nick Chubb. Like the Titans, they got Derrick Henry. Uh, the Raiders with Josh Jacobs. Uh, the Giants with Barkley. But there's a lot of teams that are doing running back by committee. A lot of them. And Ravens, they have certainly been one of those teams. I mean, right now you got three starting running backs on your team right now. In Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, and Melvin Gordon. And who, who knows what, what Keith Mitchell could do back there? Or even Justice Hill if he got enough opportunity. Who knows? Especially when you got the threat of a Lamar Jackson back there as well. And just how creative the, the Ravens have been as a running team uh, over the years. Even though Greg Roman is gone, I'm sure they're still going to incorporate some stuff, but we'll see. But anyway, with the running back market, it's just, it's tough. It's super tough. And I don't know what they're going to do. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to form a union? What 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 can possibly be done? I'm, re I'm really trying to think of anything that the running backs could possibly do in order to help their situation. And I can't think of nothing. Cause you could go out there, and say you go out there and ball. You go out there and play your behind off. You can get a contract. The contract ain't gonna be nothing crazy nowadays. Ain't gonna be nothing crazy because teams are what they're doing nowadays. They like there's some teams like John Robinson and there was another running back that got taken early in the draft. But running backs are being drafted lower than ever. Uh, they getting undrafted free agents because teams are like, hey, we could just we could find somebody to fill in your role. We could find somebody to fill your spot. And again, it's by committee. It's by committee. So it's no focus on one particular guy. So anyway, something that I, I saw that was uh, interesting, I saw it this morning. Uh, shout out to my guy, Drew, because um, I, I saw it because of him. But he pointed out uh, this was from Jeff Muller. Uh, Jeff Muller, he's a uh, football injury analyst. Um, so again, and, and if this, I don't, I don't know if this is completely accurate or not, but we'll see. He says, interesting note on JK Dobbins plus the physically unable to perform list. Uh, a player's, con and he's quoting, uh, a player's contract will not be told while on pup, uh, unless he is in the last year of his deal. And he is both not able to perform football services as of the sixth regular season and is not activated during the regular season or post season. And then he said, sounds like if J.K. Dobbins does not report, the Ravens could keep him on the pup list and the last year of his contract will toll, meaning he would enter 2024 on the last year of his contract again next season instead of being a free agent. And then he said, interesting move by the Ravens. Now, if this is true, if this is true, um, if this is accurate, ooh, it's a nasty business, baby. It's, it's, it's a nasty business. Uh, this would be Ravens if this if this is accurate. 
um, this would be the Ravens really covering themselves and really telling, letting J.K. Dobbins know, like, hey, we got you. We got you. Um, because if this is accurate, then, yeah, they got him. They really do. If he decided to not report, which I don't think he'll do. I don't think he'll, like, hold out anything like that simply because of the fact that he doesn't have any power. And it sucks for him. It sucks for him as a player. Uh, I've been there before uh, when, hey, well, I ain't, I ain't miss a lot of time at work. I did have times where I would be late and whatnot. But, hey, I, I will be there. But um, I've had that happen to me before at work to where I'm trying. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a raise. I, I'm working my behind off. I done did this, that, and the third. Put in the time, put in the work been here for for years and showing you hey like i i can do this you know i can do this you know what i'm capable of you not only what i'm capable of you you know what i've done and it it was just still a losing fight didn't have any power didn't have any power because the big wigs so to speak the the higher ups in in the company in, in the organizations and stuff it was just like nah they weren't budging and that's frustrating it's frustrating when they hold all the cards so with J.K. Dobbins, I, I get why he's just, it, if he's not feeling stuff right now, I can completely understand why. But we'll see, man. We'll, we'll see what goes down. Because uh, this, that's like, I don't expect him to, 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 to hold out. I don't expect him to not show. I expect him to be there tomorrow. I think he'll be there tomorrow for sure. Uh, reason being, cause again, what else is he going to, is, is he going to be like, All right, I ain't showing up. If he doesn't show up and, and, and this is accurate about the contract, right? Let's be, okay, don't show up. See you next year. You ain't going to be no free agent. See you next year. But also, if he doesn't show up, these dudes like Gus Edwards is there. Melvin Gordon is there. Justice Hill is there. Keaton Mitchell is there. Like, Ravens have four other running backs right now. Right now, they have four other running backs. And maybe they got another one that I don't know about. But they have at least four other running backs. And they, they're obviously able to they could sign somebody else if they wanted to. So, and th this is why with the whole Melvin Gordon signing, it, it, was, it was still very tricky to me. I was like, whoa, what? Okay, Melvin, uh, all right. Okay. So, um, I don't know, man. I do feel for the guy. I, 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 but I, he has missed a lot, like a lot, a lot of time. But... I, I get where he's at because it, it's it's such a tough situation. And he's got to be like, he's got to be frustrated from so many different angles right now. Frustrated because, oh, man, I, I did miss a bunch of time. But frustrated because, oh, man, I'm not getting paid what I want to get paid. Frustrated because there's been missed opportunities and whatnot. But, oh, uh, man. So it's, it's it's a really tough spot to be in. So we'll see what happens. Um, tomorrow's a very, very big day. For these Baltimore Ravens and for a lot of teams around the league, obviously, with training camp just starting everywhere. Some teams have started already, but um, with the Ravens, tomorrow is the big day. So we'll see if J.K. Dobbins shows up and we'll see if it could be some surprise people that don't show up. I don't anticipate it. Um, yeah, I mean, who, who else wouldn't show up? I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't anticipate anybody else being a no-show. I mean, there's some other people in the last year that contract, like Patrick Queen, like Justin Matabike, like um, Broderick Washington. Um, who else? This year, there's other people in the last year that contract, but I don't anticipate them being no-shows. But, hey, you we won't know till we know, but I don't think we'll see anything like that. So, anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for not being no-shows on here. Um, turn your notifications on Subscribe and turn your notifications on Because again stuff is going to be Picking up more than ever now We have officially made it And mm, Time to get crazy <laughs>